So there are two things with model railway layouts that tend to slightly bug me when I see them at shows. The first off is unrealistic back scenes. And personally, for me, I always prefer photographic back scenes. Anything else just detracts from the superb modelling, usually. There are exceptions, but generally, photo back scene or nothing. That's just my own personal point of view. The other thing, though, is baseball joins. Now, baseball joins are terrible. You have a lovely model, and then right in the middle of it is like an earthquake has happened. There's a great big slit in the ground. Why? And we really need to try and develop ways to hide that. Now, some people have, and they put hedges and fences up around that area, but I want to do something better, and I think I might have an idea, I might have a solution. So what I've done to test to see if I can make an invisible baseball joint is I've built this. So I've made this. This is a baseball test piece. So I have two very tiny baseboards that I've joined together in a conventional way. And I'm going to experiment hiding the baseball joint. This is what I've used to hold them in position. Now, to hide the back scene, I'm just going to get a building of some sort. And where the join is, the building is pretty much going to cover the join. Well, it will cover it, cover it all. And I'll have a chimney or something right up to the top so that the whole join is covered. The hardest part really is going to be hiding the join between the actual ground elements of the board. There's always something on a layout. But I'm going to use a technique that I've noticed whilst using GM200 ballasted foam. When you put two pieces of ballasted foam together, they push together and it just all goes invisible and you can't see the join. It's because they're all soft, everything's squishy, or it's all interlocking and it goes great. As it interlocks, it all goes terrific and you can't see anything. So I'm going to fill this join with Multipren, which is the trademark name for the foam type substance that's used. I think it's a little stronger than normal foam. And I'm going to cover it with different ballast material other than the regular ballast that's on it so that it matches the ground ballast, the colour of the ground. And then the idea is, with this bit of foam between the two balls, as you push it together, it will just completely seal and fill that up. So we'll see if that actually uh, turns out okay. I'm using Pico set track as well on this layout. And I might even use this, slightly out of scale, but it's a building and it's derelict and smashed and it'll probably do just to see if this idea turns out okay. So let's see if I can make an invisible baseball join. So I'm going to stick a sliver of this multiprint, which is the ballasted foam up here in contact adhesive and now I'll screw these together and that will squeeze up the join I drop on the PVA into mix again So here we are the next day, everything's glued down nicely. I have two pieces of ballasted foam on the edge. So on the top edge is the one that's actually got the green grass glued to it also. 
and this allows a bit of movement, it's springy. And then there's some on the lower edge as well. And that's just so that when I put these two hooks together, they go together evenly. So what I'm going to try to do now is squeeze them together and see what happens to that join and if I can make it invisible or not. So initially, this is what it ends up with. There is also an increased gap in the back seam, so that will need repositioning and redoing. And I also needed to add water before I added the back seam because the water has affected the back seam, which I should have thought of. So here we have the join, it's filled in with the ballasted foam. I'm just pushing the foam in to try and get rid of that join even further. And can you see how that's actually doing it? Because the foam is a flexible substance, wow, that, that join is disappearing. And that's after I've pushed the foam into the gap in effect with its colored texture on it and that gap has virtually disappeared. I'm using these clips just to hold those level. You could also use a cast strip which is used for the edge of doors. It's like a U-shaped piece of plastic and that would produce a nice finish too all around that edge. That's a join. It's nearly gone, hasn't it? Yeah, a little more effort, and that could go. And then for the back scene, you just need low relief buildings with chimneys that go all the way up, and then that covers the join there. So you could easily cover that join on the back scene. And that would be an invisible join between baseballs then. So I think in principle this turns out okay. I'll call that a success. It is fairly invisible. Still not as good as a single baseboard, but perhaps with a little more effort it might get there. And it still comes apart. Overall then, I'm not 100% happy that I've made a baseball joint invisible. I don't think I have. Could add some lichen or other vegetation over it or a fence and disguise it more and perhaps then you can get away with it. Just trying to keep it grass coloured though and hide it that way. It's going to not really ever get truly hidden. Still, it was worth a go and it certainly has improved it. So there's a little scene with Pixton Holt in position and the rail replacement bus and then rail replacement moved on a little. You can see the stone structure is covering the join and also you can just see the line in the lower left of the picture where the baseball join is. So not perfect, still a little line there.